Hello, everybody, and welcome to another match preview show for the European Cricket Series. I'm Mr. Maximo Vinny Sandu from the European Cricket Network, and this is a match preview of match six in Vienna, Austria, between Salzburg Cricket Club and Vienna Afghan Cricket Club. This game will start Tuesday morning, the 18th of August at 7 a.m. GMT, which is 9 o'clock in Central Europe. It's 12.30 p.m. in India. And as always, you can catch the action right here on ECN, whether it's through our website, www.ecn.cricket, or our YouTube channel, ECN European Cricket Network, or of course, if you're living in the Indian subcontinental area, you can catch it on fan code. And just a reminder, if you don't already to follow us on social media, because there's so much happening in the world of European cricket. So follow us at European Cricket, or you can follow me, Mr. Maximo. I certainly enjoyed the first day's action there from Austria. Let's have a look then at what we can expect from day two. And of course, we have another five matches. There's five matches every day, Monday to Thursday this week. They're the preliminary matches. Then we'll have a final four playoff on Friday for the championship. And you can see that these two teams from match six, the first match of Tuesday, they're right up the top of the table. So we have a clash between the two remaining unbeaten teams in the tournament. It'll be a very interesting match indeed. So let's have a look then at some likely lineups in this one. And for Salzburg CC, they'll be led by the captain Mubisha Saeed with Leokat Mohammed to be their wicketkeeper. While for the Vienna Afghan team, we have Aman Ahmed Zayed to lead them onto the field with Sadiq Mohammed to be behind the wickets. And these two teams, like I said, they are both unbeaten. They had remarkably similar a pass on day one. They had narrow victories over Indian CC Vienna and then comfortable wins in their other match. So only one of them will remain unbeaten after match six. That is for sure on Tuesday morning on ECN. Let's have a look then at Mr. Maximo's 11 to watch. And you might find this information useful, particularly if you're participating in some fantasy cricket. And for Salzburg CC, I have super highlighted Abra Bilal. And in uh, Abra Bilal, Salzburg CC have certainly found their very own AB. He came out and whacked it in their first match with 77 off only 30 balls, including eight Maximos. And he followed up with 30 in their second match. In fact, AB was the man of the match in both of their first two matches. And it's hard to see him stopping anytime soon. Let's see if he has more runs in store on Tuesday. I've also got a batting option there in Klaya Kailash, as well as an all-rounder, Zishan Guraya. Now, he didn't have much luck with the bat, but he did pick up five wickets on day one. I'm sure he'd love some runs to go with those wickets. And he's trying to nail down that number three position for Salzburg. Finally, I've got Shabazz Muhammad, who chipped in with a very handy two for eight to wrap up Pakistan CC's innings in the final game on Monday. So he'll go into Tuesday full of confidence. That's for sure. For Vienna Afghan CC, I have super highlighted their opening batsman, Raz Shigawal. Now, he scored a combined 87 runs off only 32 balls on Monday. He really hit the ball crisply, and he'll lead the charge of the Afghans at the top of the the order. Now, we haven't seen him bowl yet, so maybe they're holding him back a little bit, but he certainly was destructive with the bat, and he'll look for more runs again in what could be a very high-scoring contest. I've also got a potential opening partner for him in Kaiba Malia, as well as Zabi Ibrahim, who picked up two for 11 with the ball against Austria CC Veen off his two overs. I've also put in some more all-rounders in Noor and Aman Ahmedzai, starting with Noor Ahmedzai. He was very destructive in game one after coming in after a bit of a collapse. They'd lost four wickets for only 17 runs, but he counterpunched. He blasted 52 of only 16 balls to help them to a total of 128 in a game. They'd ultimately only win by a mere five runs. Now, he did come back to earth in their second match with a golden duck, so hopefully that doesn't bother him very much. Now, look, if I'm honest, I was very close to having him as my super highlight for the Vienna Afghan team. It was between him and Raz Shigawal, but in the end, I was swayed by their positions in the batting order because Noor does come in at about five or six while Shigawal opens. So I ended up going for Shigawal, but it was a very close call. I'd actually like to see Noor bat a little bit higher in the order, maybe in the number three position, so they can get him out there facing more potential balls in an innings, because I think having him that low is potentially costing them runs. I put in there another all-rounder, like I said, Aman Ahmedzai, the captain. He scored 44 off only 13 balls in their second match, and he looked to be very explosive, and we certainly have seen what he can do on the European Cricket Network before. And I rounded up my 11 to watch with a couple of bowling options for Vienna Afghan CC, Sahel Zadran and Zain Mohammed. 
Well, what a day it was, day one there in Vienna. We saw some good cricket. We saw some pretty even matches. We also saw some really high scores. And you put that down to the small boundaries and good batting conditions there. Uh, but I couldn't make up my mind when it came to a prediction in this game. It tells you it was a bit of a toss-up uh, between these guys. And I really was feeling pretty strongly about Salzburg CC, especially after watching their fielding in game five. I thought they fielded really well. And that could be the difference when teams are quite evenly matched. So I was with Salzburg CC for a long time. But uh, especially with the, the form of AB, Abra Bilal. In the end, though, I ended up going for... Vienna Afghan CC in a toss-up Tommy match for sure because I just felt that they had more players that could impact the match, particularly with the bat. We saw their batting depth come to the fore when they were in a bit of trouble. So I think that could be a strength or a weakness. The Vienna Afghan CC having that collapse of, I think it was four for 17 in their first match against the Indian CC Vienna side, but they did come back and still put a winning score on the board. But I do think this is a 50-50 match, if I'm honest. I think it's a potential grand final preview as well. I have put Abra Bilal, who plays for Salzburg, to be the star player. Because I, if I had to put money on one player to score runs, it would be Abra Bilal. But I just felt that in the end, Vienna Afghans had more players that could score runs for them. And for that reason, I have predicted them to win in a very high-scoring and close contest. But uh, you're on your own for this one. Mr. Maximo can't help you all the time. I'm just telling you that I think this is a 50-50 game. But it certainly will be a very interesting contest. So we hope you can join us here on the European Cricket Network. That's for sure. We hope you enjoy the game and all of Tuesday's action on the European Cricket Network. Just a final reminder to follow us on social media. And if you enjoy these match preview videos, make sure that you like and leave a comment. I will get to as many as I can. Obviously, subscribe to our channel. This is our 75th episode of Match Preview Show, and I certainly enjoy it bringing the match of the day to you on ECN on our YouTube channel. So enjoy the game. We'll see you shortly on ECN for more T10 explosive cricket action. But for now, this is Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network saying enjoy the game. We'll see you next time on European Cricket.